The greater bird of paradise lives deep in the rainforest of western New Guinea and nearby Aru Islands. Like most birds of paradise, these creatures have evolved complex courtship displays. And, like scientists, Tim and Ed have always wanted to better understand these unique birds and their mechanisms of sexual selection. But how do you study a bird the size of a crow that displays at the top of a tree a hundred feet above the ground? Most scientists have used cameras with long lenses and heavy tripods anchoring them to the forest floor. These efforts often resulted in blurred or obscured images. Ed and Tim's solution to this? Record displays up in the canopy. With the greater bird of paradise, they knew they couldn't put a blind in a tree where the birds are without disturbing them. Instead, they locate a nearby tree that's strong enough to hold Tim and provides a clear line of sight into the display area. Tim is an expert tree climber. He hauls himself up into the neighboring tree, builds a sturdy, concealed blind, and mounting the same long lens that he uses on the ground, gets stunning close-ups. These images led Tim and Ed to wonder if a camera could be hidden in the display tree right next to the birds, providing an unprecedented view from within their world. To crack this challenge, they invented the leaf cam. Tim took a small GoPro camera and sewed it between two large leaves using a thin vine as thread, climbed the 100 feet, assessed which branches were suitable, and mounted the camera just above the display branch. Right here, you see the main display branch of the greater bird of paradise. There's my blind over there. And right here, the leaf camera is ready to capture bird of paradise display. The birds were unaffected, and the images were a great surprise. But the technique needed improvement. The inability to effectively control the recording and the poor image quality forced them to consider a more sophisticated digital camera. Tim installed this heavier gear and ran 60 feet of USB cable to the blind in the nearby tree. With this refined solution, he could sit in his blind, observe the display branch from his perch, and actively control the leaf cam by adjusting focus and exposure from a laptop. Take a look at this image. Tim worked for years to capture a view of a greater bird of paradise displaying in the foreground with the rainforest in the background. A lot of engineering and effort went into getting these stunning images. Two 100-foot tall trees side by side. Climbing ropes hung from both trees a solidly constructed blind perched on one tree, a leaf cam mounted high in the display tree. The two trees tethered together with computer cables. Tim spent eight days scrambling up and down the trees in order to capture the perfect shot. The light was ideal. The animals were unaffected by the technology. Most importantly, Tim and Ed had captured behavior from a perspective that no scientist had ever seen before. <laughs>